Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, I want to solve another problem in flow mechanics involving dynamic of flow. Now the question goes like this, it says, a 30 centimeter pipe conveying water branches into two pipe of diameter 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter respectively. If the average velocity in the 30 centimeter diameter pipe is 2.5 meter per second, find the discharge in this pipe. Also, determine the velocity in 15 centimeter pipe if the average velocity in 20 centimeter pipe diameter is 2 meter per second. Now, the first thing you do is to write out the parameters, the data given. Now the question says, the first pipe that is conveying the water is 30 centimeter. So let's say this is the first pipe. Let's call it D1. Write the diameter of the first pipe, D1, that is in section 1, the section of the first pipe, D1, and that is 30 centimeter. If you convert it to meter, you'll be having 30 divided by 100, and that will be 0 0.3 0 .3 meter. And you should know that whenever there's diameter, there must be an area. Right? Now, the area here will be by d square over 4. But since we are considering diameter 1, we'll be talking about what? A area one as an area of the section one right so when I say that pi times the value of D here is 0 0.3 square over 4 and by the time you multiply 0 0.3 square times pi divided by 4 you're going to be having 0 0.07068 meter square that is for the first one now the question continues, it says the water now branches into two pipe, right? After the 30 centimeter pipe conveying water, it branches into two pipe of diameter 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter respectively. So let's say this branches into this pipe here and into another pipe here. Let's say this one here is the one of section 2 and the one here is the one of what section 3 so meaning we have d2 and what d3 the diameter of those pipes so the d2 is given to be what 20 centimeter as suggested by the question and converting centimeter into meter you divide by 100 and we're having 0 0.2 meter whatever there's a diameter we have an area so our a2 will now be given by d2 square over 4 and what is the d2 here it is what 0 0.2 so we're having 0 0.2 square here so by the time you multiply the pi times 0 0.2 square divided by 4 you'll be having your a2 to be what 0 0.0314 meter square similarly for the section 3 we say our d3 is what 15 centimeter converting it into meter we divide it by 100 we're having 0 0.15 meter now, um, we will now get wherever there's a diameter. I told you you have an area. So the area, the a of the area of the section three, we we'll call it a sub three, will now give us by d three square over four, right? Now, what is the value of d three? We said it is zero point one five square. So pi times zero point one five square divided by four will be giving us zero point zero one seven six seven meter square. So this is the area we have. Now we we'll proceed. Question continues. It says, if the average velocity in the 30 centimeter diameter pipe is 2.5 meter per second, now you should know that it says the average velocity in the 30 centimeter pipe. That is what section one, because section one is the pipe that has 30 centimeter, right? So we're talking about V1 now. So that means the V1 will be equal to what? 2.5 meter per second. Is that okay now? We are not told to find the discharge in this pipe. What pipe? 
the 30 centimeter pipe that is in the section one right so we'll say that uh my q we're looking for what for q1 q subscript one we'll, we'll use q to denote our uh, our discharge is that okay now Continue. continues this says also determine the velocity in 15 centimeter pipe now the 15 centimeter pipe is a pipe of what of the section three right the pipe of the section three so we're talking about what v um, v3 we should look for what for v3 so the velocity at the section three of the pipe so we have um we put our question mark there and we move forward and i said if the average velocity in the 20 centimeter diameter pipe is two meter per second so the 20 centimeter diameter pipe as you can see is the section two that is the velocity of the water or flowing through section two and that's given as what two meter per second so that is v2 so we've simply done all this that is the parameters that we have there now we are told well the first thing we'll do now is to calculate for the discharge in the pipe one the section one right so recall we know our discharge q is equals to what area times what velocity so since we are dealing with section one we're using q subscript one is equals to what a1 now what v1 now what is my a1 a1 has given the equation is given to be what 0 0.07068 times v1 is given to be what 2.5 and when you multiply these two you'll be having 0 0.1767 meter cube per seconds right so this is what we have here that is in meter cube per seconds and if you have to convert it to liter you multiply it by what 1000 right so that what you'll be having in liter per seconds now the next thing we are told to calculate for what the velocity in what in the pipe 3 right that is in the pipe 3 is the is the um the 50 centimeter pipe right so in the pipe 3 so recall q3 discharge at section 3 discharge of the water flowing in the pipe 3 is equal to what the area of the pipe 3 multiplied by the velocity of the water flowing in the pipe 3 here right and if you make we're looking for um v3 so looking for the v3 here we'll easily say that uh, the v3 will be equals to what q3 over a3 right now we'll call it equation one because we don't know the value of what of q3 so we'll calculate for q3 now so recall we know that the water flowing in pipe one is equals to the addition of the water flowing in what in pipe two and three that means the discharge of the water flowing in pipe one is equals to what the discharge of the water flowing in pipe two plus the discharge of the water flowing in what in pipe three and that will call it what equation two but we know that the discharge of water in pipe two is equals to what the area of the pipe multiplied by the what the velocity of the pipe right so we we'll now say that my q2 will now be equals to um a2 which is 0 0.0314 times what v2 which is what 2 so when you multiply both of them we'll be having 0 0.0628 meter cube per seconds now we will now substitute the value of q1 and q2 into equation 2 above and that will give that was equation 2 which says q1 is equals to q2 plus what q3 and what is q1 q1 we calculated to be 0 0.1767 equals to q2 calculated to be 0 0.0628 plus q3 now if you make q3 the solid of the formula the q3 here will now be equals to 0 0.1767 minus 0 0.0628 that means i'm taking 0 0.0628 to the right side to the left hand side and we're having q3 to be equals to 0 0.1139 meter cube per seconds now what you do is substitute the value of q3 and a3 into equation one and what is equation one equation one is telling me that what v3 is equals to q3 over a3 and what is the q3 0 0.1139 divided by the a3 which is 0 0.01767 so v3 will now be equals to what 6.44 meter per seconds right so that will be our velocity 
of the water flowing in the pipe 3 or the section 3. This is what we have here. So we've already solved the question involving this in the previous example where we're talking about just a single pipe, just a pipe with just two sections, right? And you can just click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here in order to get the video and understand more about flow in pipes, right? So if you find the video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.